Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have a treat for you today. There's a bunch of ephemera folders added to the shop and that's really exciting. You're going to hear a lot of noise in the background. My boys are having a wonderful time enjoying their winter break and playing together. So I'm just going to mention that. But I have several today, um, a little bit more than I usually do in a video these days. These are from Cindy Anderson. And this first one is called Grow, so you can find ephemera folders under the supplies section of my website. That is nevermorecreation17.com. Um, ephemera folder, 51 pieces of ephemera. So this one's called Grow. You can see how beautiful it is. And it is really stuffed. This is a lovely folder that you can refill um, and it just totally enjoy. So you can see all of the beautiful ephemera pieces stuffed in here that you can use and then of course refill or tear apart and use these pages as pockets and all of that. We want you to be inspired to create from what we sell. So please don't at all feel bad about turning things into new things, turning old things into new things or new things into newer things. We love that. So this one's called Grow. And then there's this lovely one. I gotta love the bird on this one. Western Tanager there. This might be, let's see, it's called a little bit of fall. Um, and you can tell they're really stuffed here at the bottom. And there's 53 pieces of ephemera in this one that you can use in your journals. They're lovely. So most of these are <clears throat> fall themed, but a lot of them are just kind of woodland nature. So um, I think it can be used year round. Pull out the ones that are specifically fall for your fall journals. And then you have nature uh, woodland for your nature journals and things like that. So 53 pieces in a little bit of fall here. I've had these for a while. I'm um, trying to get to them. So kind of missed the fall season but we use woodland year round this is the next one isn't that gorgeous it says beautiful and this is 51 pieces of ephemera here lots of blues and purples so if you know that you're needing some ephemera in certain colors then definitely go for something like this absolutely gorgeous all the different pieces that you get and you know different shapes and sizes and of course you can refill it as well so what a lovely folder I love the the cover on this one okay looks like we have a Christmas one I doubt that this will get to you well I can pretty much guarantee it's not going to get to you by Christmas since Christmas is only a few days away but um if you're going to be finishing up your December daily in the first parts of January or uh beefing up your ephemera for there's 54 pieces in this for next year because you used a lot of it then this would be perfect for you to get this now and put it I have a box that has all my Christmas and fall and Halloween um, ephemera pieces and, and stuff like that which I didn't really use in junk journal crafting this year however I did take the Christmas um, craft stuff to my school and uh, was able to use different pieces for uh, tags or gifts or for the kids uh, stuff like that uh, they enjoyed some of the Christmas washi tape I had that was fun all right, this one says a lovely day. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. The little butterfly stickers. So this has 54 pieces of ephemera. You can see how gorgeously stuffed in they are. Lots of pockets and, and tucks to keep your ephemera so much. And also lots of inspiration here. Like I'm being inspired by like the different types of little pockets and the sizes and things for when I create ephemera. Um, and be like, oh yes, I should make a pocket like that and stuff it. Sometimes when we sit down to make ephemera, we forget the different things that we could make. So it's also a wonderful resource to inspire yourself um, to create. We have two more. I think it's one more ephemera. Oh, maybe they're both ephemera folders. I'm not sure. So there's this one with the white crowned sparrow. This is dragon and 
Dragonfly and Sparrow, 53 pieces of ephemera. So each of these ephemera folders from C uh, Cindy, I was gonna say Sydney, <laughs> from Cindy have 50, around 50 pieces of ephemera. That is a lot. It is quite a lot. Look at how gorgeous they are. Something for everyone, a little bit of every style. So sweet. And what adorable. And they, they have like a little fabric reinforcing here, which is great for using it over and over again. When I use my folders too, um, I take off the closures because I like to be able to grab it and, and pull things out and stuff things in without having to untie. So I love the ties for storing them, for transporting them. And then I like to use these on a journal or somewhere else and leave my ephemera folders open. So this one I don't think is from Cindy, but we will find out in a second. So yeah, see three signatures. It says grow. This is from Tammy. So uh, yesterday we had, or last video, whenever that was, we had items from Tammy and this is also from her. This is floral grow ephemera folder, 18 pages with over a hundred pieces of ephemera. So you have a flip out here. So this is a very large ephemera folder with a lot of pages and lots tucked in including little bits and bigger bits you have like pages and you have tags guest checks but you got little clusters look at that texture paste on there that is gorgeous you have lots of different places to tuck and store ephemera and definitely very refillable this is exactly the kind of ephemera folder i love um just really easy to tuck in and to use. It's very gorgeous. Look at those gorgeous colors. So this one is called Grow. So one from Tammy and the rest from Cindy. Definitely beefing up our supply section here. So exciting times um, to be able to add these. I know it's been a while, but good things come to those who wait. <laughs> so anyway, how lovely these all are. I hope that as this Christmas week continues to progress, that you'll just find the peace and joy of the season and to know that the little baby that was born in Bethlehem is still alive today in our hearts and of course in heaven. And when you have burdens, like this year has been hard for a lot of people and just a little encouragement from me to you, just remember that he came the baby Jesus came into a world full of burdens and he lifted those burdens and I hope that he'll lift yours today. If there's anything that I can help you with or encourage you with, I hope that you'll send me an email or Facebook message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Merry Christmas and thank you so much for your loving support. I'll see you all next time.